VPAT stands for Voluntary Product Accessibility Template. It provides vendors a method of communicating detailed information about the accessibility of their products. Completing this form requires specific details about whether or not their product meets Section 508 standards, thus VPATs are more useful than vague accessibility or Section 508 statements. If a product has a VPAT, it is usually available on the product's website, however it may not be easy to find. Some websites provide an accessibility link in their web page footer directing you to their accessibility statement and their VPAT if available. I am going to demonstrate how I find a VPAT for a product, in this case, a Microsoft Office product. The link I'm using is office.com. When looking for a VPAT on a product's website, I typically scroll to the footer on the bottom of the home page. If a website has information about accessibility, the link is often located in the footer. This is the case for Office.com. Clicking on the link takes me to the Office Accessibility page. On this page, I'm looking for text references to VPATs, product accessibility, or Section 508 statements. VPATs or statements in product accessibility often require navigating to numerous pages on the product's website. This is the case in this demonstration, where I need to click on several links before arriving on the web page with a list of available VPATs. I am going to look at the VPATs for Microsoft Excel 2013. These VPATs can be downloaded on your computer as Word documents. However, many VPATs are available in other formats, such as PDF. VPATs usually contain tables that may or may not be accessible. The Microsoft Excel 2013 VPAT has a column for Section 508 standards, a Supported Features column, and a Remarks and Explanations column. Often a VPAT will have Not Applicable in the Supported Features column, as is the case with this VPAT. This means the vendor has determined the standard does not apply to their product. It is recommended you use your knowledge of accessibility to thoroughly review the VPAT along with the product. If you are unable to locate a product's VPAT online, you can contact the vendor by phone or email to request a VPAT.